what is August truly, if nothing more than a grueling, agonizing reminder of the indefinite and inescapable passage of time. August is the ending of all endings that reminds us how far we've come and how we have also fallen short. It is the mark of the end of a season that we all look so deeply forward to, summer, and a reminder that all in all, good or bad, all things end. And I just think August always brings me to this point of reconciliation with every past version of myself, specifically in the summer. Who I was, who I've become, who I'm yet to be. My original plan for this morning was to do gym later because I wanted to go to this cafe because I found a new cafe, I found a new spot, so exciting. But then I woke up in the most, I don't even know, I'm just like anxious and angry since we have woken up in this state. We need to go and we need to get my brain rewired. I didn't bring my headphones. <laughs> Why is it always the days that you're already down that life just likes to should I just give up? I really want to give up, but I'm not going to. Okay, I'm done. I did it. I feel better. Yes, yes. Of course, the age-old trick worked. I do a 12 3 30 from Lauren Geraldo. Mommy, mother, love her. So we need to ride this high into the rest of the day. ago I thought I had a dentist appointment. I got off, got ready really early that day and then I realized that it wasn't until a month later. But I was so stressed about the dentist appointment because I haven't been flossing. And I'm pretty sure I have a cavity up here. And I was just like, this is just gonna go bad. Like there's nothing more embarrassing than when you go to the dentist. You're not the best flosser. Yes, I do. I do floss, but it's just, I go for like three months at a time. I'm like, yes, flossing, flossing. And then it's just like, I totally, my memory of flossing gets wiped. Is this a common thing or is this just like me being disgusting? Oh my God, this could be embarrassing if everyone... Should I leave this in? Fuck it, I'm gonna leave it in. Just don't judge me. So anyways, I have a month to now get myself back into check. I'm ready to go into this dentist and they're gonna be like, this bitch is the best flosser we've ever seen. Nobody has ever flossed like this. Why am I giving Donald Trump right now? Nobody has ever flossed as good as she flosses. <laughs> Millions of people say so. Millions. So that's what we're doing right now. It's another rainy day and it's lasting all day today. You know what time it is. Now it's time for breakfast. I've been making this delicious omelet. I've perfected my omelet. I think it was really bad at the beginning because like I didn't know what I was doing. I was so new to the game. That being said, this is my favorite omelet right now. It's very simple, three ingredients. Try it, let me know. segments are really gonna help me get back into my sketchbook era because two years ago i made a new year's resolution that i was gonna draw something every day and i really started out well i was going crazy but somewhere along the way i stopped we're gonna do what we did last time go onto my pinterest and find something to draw today i wish that i was talented enough to just draw from my head but unfortunately i'm not i have to copy something Oh well, I think this is what we're gonna go with today. Let's get to it. Call me crazy, but my senior year of high school, I was taking this English class and we specifically talked about rain and how rain in a movie or a film or a book 
a big storm is always a sign of a renewal or a big change is about to occur. The past is like gonna get washed away and something new is coming in. And ever since that class, that is the connection of rain in my brain. Every time a big rainstorm is coming through, I'm like, oh, something's about to happen. I believe everyone should have off on rainy days. No one should be allowed to leave their house within reason on a rainy day. And everyone just needs to sit and reflect and be cleansed by the rain, okay? Is that crazy? I don't know. Something interesting that I've been noticing is that a lot of situations that have been popping up are very eerily similar to past patterns. And so I think that it's crazy that they're coming up again in such an almost identical way. For me, whenever that happens, I know that that's normally about to be like my final test of the situation. Like once I've put a lot of energy into healing a certain dynamic, I notice that all of a sudden it pops up one last time. When that first began happening to me, I thought it was just a sign that nothing I was doing was working. Like I was trying so hard to heal all these patterns and stuff that I didn't want to keep around anymore. I didn't find like productive. So I was kind of mad. I was like, you know, I've been doing all this work. I'd be like, I failed, you know, like this is not. And I've kind of had to adjust that mindset to see that if something is coming up one final time, I know what's happening here and I know how to respond. So I'm proud of myself for that. It was just perfect timing for a rainstorm. I am sitting outside drinking a blueberry matcha that I just made. I would give it like a seven. I made more of a puree than like a syrup, but I think what I really was looking for was like half puree, half syrup. So I'll keep that in mind for next time, but this is not the end of my fruit matcha journeys because I really have quite a lot of ideas. Well, not that many, actually only three very basic ideas, but whatever, they seem cool to me. The rain has passed, the storms are gone. It is quite sunny again, actually. I didn't think it would be so sunny when I came out here with a hoodie on. I was at yoga the other day. I love it when the instructors will do like a mantra, a little saying for the class, like kind of set the intention. The mantra of the other day was called the law of least effort. Basically just talking about how summer, especially at this point in the summer, it's the time of the season where you just kind of sit back and let things be. It's just not the best time to like really overexert yourself. It's more of a time to sit back and relax and kind of take inventory of all that you've grown over the summer considering it's kind of getting to the end of the season. August really is a good time to just slow down again. I guess it just got me thinking a lot about not trying to force things too much. I think I tend to really, I love a good timeline. I love a strict deadline. I love things to be planned out. I love to know exactly what's going on, especially with things I'm putting effort towards. And it can be hard to be consistently putting effort towards something and wanting a fast result out of your work. It was just really important for me to apply this law of least effort that things are going to grow when they grow. If the seeds are planted, the seeds are planted. So it's less about harassing your seeds, you know, like digging them up and looking at them. Just let them be trust that they grow and you'll be okay and know that there's no rush. I guess I just want to say if there's something that you're really rushing towards right now and you're feeling kind of beaten down to just kind of lean into that tiredness and let yourself rest and just trust the timing that whatever blocks or whatever delays you're facing are 
intentional. A block or a delay is not so much a true block as it is a rest stop, you know? It's a place to catch a breather. It's a place to reflect on what's happened and it's a place to plan for how you're gonna move forward. Um, I'm using this August as a way to look back and take inventory of my progress, whether I perceive something as a setback or an advantage to rest and learn and grow, who's to say? I'm the one that decides how I'm gonna view it, regardless of what it is. The only way I experience it is the way I decide. So I'm thankful for the rain and I'm thankful for slow periods that allow us to take a breather, recenter ourselves, and move forward at a calculated, steady pace with intention instead of panic and a sense of hurriedness that ultimately is not going to leave you very satisfied. I feel like it's cliche, but it's true. You know, anything worth having takes a while. I think there's a big difference between waiting for something good and working overly hard for something good. You know what I mean? That sometimes we don't allow a good thing to grow because we think that we need to work super, super hard to deserve this thing that we're working on. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm losing my train of thought, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, if you have any rainy days coming up, think of me while you spend them. I'm giving you a virtual rainy day hug. Stay home if you can. Take some time to reflect. Write down a few things that you're really proud of yourself for accomplishing so far and ways that you have made maybe more progress than you notice or realize. When you're not thinking about how far you are from your goals, think about how far you are from where you started. Okay. Love you all. I guess I'll kiss you now. Bye. See you next time.